I'm Matt Whitting with IPH Hockey. At IPH, we make players better by improving their skills and building their confidence. Remember, you don't work hockey, you play hockey. Today, we're going to do Roadrunner Passing. Roadrunner Passing starts out as a take on a standard shuttle type passing drill that players and coaches have been doing for years. We've added a little bit of a twist to help younger players learn how to move their feet when they pass. We find that that's a skill that younger players definitely lack. To start the drill, we're going to have players set up on the blue line here, as well as players on the blue line here. We'll have pucks in each line. The first player should take a few steps with their head up and then get to the cone. The cone is their marker for when they'll begin to make their pass. They should skate all the way up to the cone and make their hard pass to the next line. They'll then continue skating and overtake that spot in line. This player again has their head up, takes a few steps and makes a hard pass once they get to the cone. It's very important here that players are aware of where they are on the ice. Again, we find it's a difficult thing for younger players to grasp. They actually have to move their feet the entire time when the puck is on their stick. A variation to this drill would be an addition of a second pass. Once players are comfortable with that first pass, we can now add that second play. First player again starts with the puck, takes a few steps, head is up, makes the pass at the cone. That player continues skating, receives the pass back, continues skating, and passes it back to that line. So now there's two passes in between. That player again overtakes that spot, the first player is able to go again. A couple of key teaching points in this drill would be to make sure the player's eyes are up the entire time, to make sure their hands are out in front of their body, to make sure that they're moving their feet the entire time. A reason why we add the second pass of this drill is to make players react under pressure. As they're moving their feet, they should hopefully be gaining speed, gaining speed, gaining speed the entire time. When a player is at top speed, it can be much more difficult to make plays. One of the reasons why we add that second pass is so that a player gets used to making a play at a higher speed. They've just made one pass and now they're ready for a second pass right away. Another variation of this drill would involve some tight turns and some pivots. Now, instead of players going across the ice, they're gonna essentially remain with their partner and their cone. It's gonna start like this. The first player is gonna start out without a puck, come up around the cone and do a tight turn. The second player will then hit them with a pass. That player receives it and passes it directly back to that line. This player continues skating and gets to the blue line, opening up, facing the line. They receive the puck back. They then carry it forwards around the cone, pass it right back to their line. They again get nice and low, all the way to the blue line and receive the pass back. After they received it again, they carry it all the way back and the next player can now go. It's important that these players are getting all the way back to the blue line each time so they make a very easy lateral pass for their partner. A final variation of this drill would involve combining the two drills together. The first player would come up and do a tight turn around the comb. They would get a pass from the second player, pass it back, continue onto the blue line and pivot, get it right back. They would then carry it around and pass to that line. They would pivot again and get it right back again. At the same time, this line is doing the exact same thing. So we're coming around, forwards, passing, passing back, pivoting, getting it back, carrying it, passing, pivoting again, getting it back. Now this player, as well as this player, both have a puck. After they've received the puck, again, we want to talk about moving our feet all the time when the puck's on our stick. We again explode up the ice, up the ice, look towards the opposite line, here. This player looking here. We make a pass to that line, continue skating, get it back, and carry it all the way in. This player can now go. Same thing happens here. Pass all the way down, pass back, all the way down, this player can now go. Again, it's important with this type of a drill that your eyes are up the entire time. We did a drill previously called the circle regroup. In that drill, we looked a lot of have, about having our players look at their options up and down the ice. This drill does the exact same thing. As soon as that pivot takes place, Players should be looking up ice, they should be looking at their passer and their options, what they have ahead of them. To start the drill, it's important that players are all starting from the same side. So if a coach is to tell their players, everyone turn to the left, it should work perfectly as this player comes up, turns to their left here, this player comes up, turns to their left here. That way players will be on the opposite side when passing each other. It's also important to know that this drill should run on one whistle and then it's continuous from there. That may not be the case for younger players as they're learning the form and learning the drill, but as the older players get going with this, that would be the ultimate goal.
Connecticut Hockey. Train hard, play harder.